Do you like to work smarter, not harder? The seven tools I'm gonna to share with you today will help you do just that with your Glowforge projects. Hi, I'm Katie and this is Things Katie Makes where we talk all things Glowforge to help increase your confidence and your creativity in your Glowforge projects. I love a good hack, which is why I'm so excited to share these products with you today to see how they can help improve your efficiency in your project, which is exactly what a hack is for, right? One of the things you'll learn really quickly using your laser is that removing masking from materials can be frustrating, time consuming, and annoying. So anything you can do to make that easier, you will want to do. The first tool that you'll want to have is a plastic razor. These are great because they come in multi-packs, they're relatively inexpensive, and they do what you might be doing right now with an X-Acto knife to try to get under the material and then peel it up, but they do it without causing damage to your materials. I use this every single day with my Glowforge projects. The second item is also useful in removing masking, but for different applications, and that is Gorilla Tape. Gorilla tape is similar to duct tape, but it's a little bit less sticky. You'll want to use the Gorilla Tape with anything that's more delicate, like an acrylic, that you'd be worried about scratching with your plastic razor. It doesn't perfectly remove every time, but it does a pretty darn good job, and it definitely saves you time instead of picking at all these little tiny pieces of acrylic masking. Now I'll admit it, sometimes I'm lazy and I don't mask my materials if they don't already come masked. What this can result in is some additional char that I don't want, and, and even after I sand it, it may not come off entirely. When that happens, I use a magic eraser. You can use a magic eraser to get char off of a whole bunch of different things, whether it's just the edges of a cut, or if you're engraving something, say a cutting board, and there's a little bit more outside of that engraving than you want, you can use a magic eraser and it'll get that char right off. If you are using that magic eraser to clean an engraving on a cutting board that you intend to be food safe, you want to make sure you clean it off and then seal it with an appropriate sealant. The next item you might already have in your home and you'll be surprised to see why we're using it with our laser. And that is Dawn dish soap. Dawn dish soap can be used in place of masking on holographic, iridescent, or mirror acrylic to help prevent flashback from the laser interacting with the honeycomb tray and the metal edges of that. What you'll find if you don't use something like this or elevate that material is that you can get jagged edges on your cuts that really aren't attractive. So you can layer the Dawn onto your material and you can elevate it slightly and it will help to prevent that flashback and make sure that you get clean, beautiful cuts. When you use the Dawn and you're done with it, you can simply wash it off of your material. Just comes right off, nothing else you need to do. The next item I find really useful to have around my craft room is baby wipes. Any brand of baby wipes will do and you'll find that you use them for all sorts of applications. First and foremost, I use them anytime I'm done unmasking acrylic because it tends to leave a ton of black mess on your fingers. So before you start working with anything else, it's the easiest way to clean up. The next thing I use it for is to create a faux stain on wood. So you can use a brown paint, just dab that onto your baby wipe, and you can get a really great faux stain look without needing to actually use a stain. I also use it when I'm using UV resin to seal earrings or keychains, as it's the only thing that will quickly clean that up. There's something magic in those baby wipes that makes it cut through all the mess and clean up anything that I'm working on. The next item I use to prep anything that I have engraved for paint, stain, or sealing. And that is a stiff bristled brush, like this one. The stiff bristled brush is the easiest way I've found to quickly clean out, especially small engravings, to prep them for paint, stain, and seal. Last item helps me to get alignment when I've taken the honeycomb tray out of my laser. And that is this ruler masking tape that I found from Scotch Brand. I placed this ruler masking tape on the edges of my laser bed and it helps me to align things and to get them straight. If I don't need perfect alignment, something that I would want to do with a jig, this is a great approximation and can really help me get my edges straight, but also help me to understand within the laser bed where I'm aligned. So when I go into the Glowforge user interface, that I have a rough idea of where I'm aligning my image. I can use the markings on my masking tape and then line those up with the rulers that are in the user interface. It's not perfect, but it's a great hack for when I don't want to make a jig. 
If you've enjoyed this video, let me know by liking it and let me know in the comments which items surprised you the most. All right, now that you have all the tools to make your projects easier, you wanna make something, right? So I suggest you go watch this video that's gonna talk about the five beginner projects that I think everyone should make first with their Glowforge. And if you haven't bought your Glowforge already, you'll wanna make sure that you check out the link in the description below so you can save up to $500 off yours.